Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about something mysterious, something that's been making waves on social media lately. A black moon is coming soon and people are calling it rare and even a little spooky. But what exactly is a black moon and why does it matter? Let's break it down together. So we all know what a full moon is, right? That's when the moon is on the opposite side of Earth from the sun and we see its entire day side lit up. But a new moon is the exact opposite. During a new moon, the moon slides right between the Earth and the sun. Its bright side is turned completely away from us, which makes the night sky look darker than usual. In fact, new moons are what give us total solar eclipses. Every month, the moon becomes new, but we don't really see it because it's lost in the glare of the sun during the day. That's why you can't actually see a black moon either. It's invisible in the night sky. Now, let's get to the black moon part. You've probably heard of a blue moon, which happens when there are two full moons in a single calendar month. That's become a popular term, even though it started from a mix-up in an old astronomy article decades ago. A black moon works kind of the same way, but it's tied to new moons instead of full moons. There are actually a few different definitions floating around. Some say a black moon is when there are two new moons in one month, Others say it's when there are four new moons in a single season, and the black moon is the third one, and that's exactly what's happening this time. On August 22nd and 23rd, depending on your time zone, we'll see, or rather not see, the third of four new moons between the June solstice and the September equinox. That's what makes this black moon special. Black moons can only happen in certain months, February, May, August, and November, because of how the lunar cycle lines up with our calendar. Also, we've got some wild ones coming in the future. For example, in 2028, we'll see what's called a super black moon when the new moon happens close to perigee, the moon's closest point to Earth. And in 2033, we'll get three black moons in a row, thanks to February skipping a new moon entirely. Sounds confusing, but it's just the moon and our calendar playing tricks on each other. Now, let's talk about why this is exciting. A black moon makes the night sky darker since the moon isn't lighting things up. That makes it the perfect chance for stargazing. Imagine stepping outside on August 22nd or 23rd, looking up and seeing more stars than usual, along with the faint glow of the Milky Way if you're lucky enough to have a dark sky nearby. It's like nature giving you a temporary reset button to enjoy the universe in its raw beauty. So, while you won't be able to look up and spot this black moon directly, you can still enjoy what it brings. A darker sky, a sense of rarity, and a reminder of how connected we are to cosmic cycles that have been happening long before humans named them. 